our new project this is uh, a timer switch using transistor and capacitor with some resistors and push button and power LED is this blue and then output LED this red so this is a timer switch this is a timer switch delay off so the delay is off using the power bank connect to power bank 5 volts now we have the power LED blue and uh, let us check the circuit When I press the button, LED turns on and then up. Press the button, LED turns on. Again, again. Press. Then it is up. So, delay is up. Okay, let us uh, check the delay up. One, two, three, four, five. Almost five seconds. And then the this uh, circuit, we can increment the delay up. What I mean is when I press the button, again, Press the button when uh, you can add or the delay by pressing it again. This is not a monostable or a single shot multi vibrator. This is incremental. You can increment or you can add the delay of. See? So this is a timer switch using transistor capacitor delay of figure one timer delay of using transistor and capacitor schematic diagram. So here we have this timer. So it means we are constructing a timer using uh, primarily with uh, transistor NPN type BC547 and capacitor electrolytic 100 microfarad 16 volts, including these uh, lots of uh, discrete components or uh, some discrete components. Now, in order to turn on this uh, LED red, which is our output LED, we need to turn on or switch on this transistor. We need a base current here and a, a voltage of 0.7 volts across base to emitter. That is the requirement. A base current or a voltage of 0.7 volts across base to emitter in order to switch on this transistor so that the uh, LED red will turn on and the purpose of the, the transistor here is act as a switch <clears throat> a short switch or uh, in a saturation mode looks uh, something like a, a short switch or here collector trimeter so initially when we connect the pi volt supply to the circuit power LED turns on so LED blue turns on that is the power LED 
with the help of this uh, current limiting resistor 4.7k and uh, we have now the power LED okay and then current will not flow into the LED to turn on since this is our output because we need the base current here and the 0.7 volts across base to emitter of this uh, transistor why is that because the switch is open this is a normally open push button switch so in order to do that to turn on this LED as a timer we need to press the switch or the button so the current will flow into the capacitor charging the capacitor that is the first uh, flow of current to the circuit charging the capacitor C1 100 microfarad and then after uh, a certain time of charging it will now what wait ah uh, it will now start to discharge uh, the current where it will discharge through the base of this transistor 10k to the resistor and then also to the 100k r1 to the ground to the right and to the left and this the capacitor serve as a power supply to the circuit because there's no there's how the switch now we release the switch already or oh, the switch uh, now is open it is not uh, it is no longer connected uh, to the pi bots once we release the switch and it starts a uh, capacitor from charging so it's discharged through the 100k and to the 10k causing to causing to flow the current to the base and switching this transistor on and it develops a 0.7 volts when it is on it is now uh, the current will flow into the 150 ohms r3 resistor current limiting resistor to the output led red turning on or lighting or lit uh, up this uh, led because collector to emitter now is shorted or because the switch uh, is in saturation mode or act as a short circuit switch is closed just like a closed switch okay collector to emitter is now connected to the ground because this transistor acts as a a closed switch or well, current flow will to to the led and then to the ground causing the led to turn on and why is it fading or uh, starts to turn up or when he, why is it stop uh, why is it uh, stopping from uh, why is it a uh, uh, a delay uh, delay of timer why is that what make this a delay timer circuit because of the capacitor once the capacitor has no charge it cannot supply current it can supply current to the base and then this uh, led will uh, gradually or slowly fading out or turning up or there's no light into the led because uh, there's no more charge due to the continuous discharging through the transistor and to the 100k and then and then eventually it will stop from turning on or it will turn up the led because this one serves as a supply uh, since uh, it will now uh, fully discharge all the charge the current flow into the base and into the 100k and then until uh, fully discharge and uh, there's no led to turn on
it will turn up at around 5 seconds in our uh, testing 5 seconds approximately 5 seconds it will turn off the circuit due to the capacitor now will fully discharge again if we're going to press again the switch it will charge again and then release the switch it will discharge again here and turning on the led and then fully turn uh discharge turn up and then uh charge again discharge charge discharge <laughs>